Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new workout. This workout is a time challenge. Have your stopwatch ready. Start it when you're starting the first exercise and stop it when you're done with the last exercise of the last round. This workout is a pyramid setup. That means that the first round you will do five repetitions of each exercise. Next round you will do 10 repetitions of each exercise. Third round you will do 15 repetitions. Then you'll be back to 10 repetitions and you'll finish with five of each exercise. And you're supposed to do this workout as fast as you can, but what's your form? Form is very important. It is, if you watch your form, you will avoid injury and you will get max results out of each exercise and each repetition that you take. Never sacrifice form for speed. Form first and then you can speed up if you have control over what you do. First exercise, jump squat. I'm adding weight for this one, just to up the challenge for myself a little bit. You can do that as well, if you can do that, very good. If you don't have any equipment, or if you are a beginner, you will just start with body weight. So, you will go down to a squat, chest up, shoulders back, push your hips back, and go down to a squat. Go as deep as feels natural for you, if it's here, Good, start there. If it's lower, start there. Ass to the floor, chest up. Now explode in a jump, up towards the ceiling. Here, stretch out on top, here. If you're doing this with weights, you will hold them by your chest, like this. Here, ass to the floor, and high up, as high as you can, like that. Second exercise is the bomb divers. Go down to the floor, push your hips back and towards the ceiling, and now you're going to dive into your arms, like this, chest almost to the floor, hips just floating over the, the floor all the time, and then back the same way, here. You're going to feel all the muscles in your upper body working. On the way forward, it's your arms, your shoulders, your chest, your stomach, and your back. On the way back, you will absolutely feel your back working as you're pushing yourself back like this. If you're a beginner, do this on your knees. So put your knees down and push your hips real far back. Now, dive into your arms, chest almost to the floor, stretch out at the end, and then go back the same way, like this. Or, just concentrate on getting the forward movement here, and then push yourself back. Make it work for you. If my modification doesn't work, then make it work for you. If you need to do regular push-ups instead, do that. But know that if you don't try this, if you don't challenge yourself, you will never be able to do this. You have to practice the movement and then you will get stronger and then one day you can do this perfectly on straight legs, okay? So don't give up, try at least a couple of them and then you can go over to, I don't know, regular push-ups or whatever. So, third exercise, rows. Now, you will need some weight for this. You can use a bag of books, um, you can use uh, uh, cans of water, bottles of water, you can use uh, buckets uh, with sand or water or anything. Um, you could use a bar, doesn't really matter what you lift, it's your form that's important. I'm using two weight plates, they're just 10 kilos each. If you have one in each arm, it's heavier, it feels more difficult than if you have uh, one bar in both hands. So, um, make this work for you, just find something to lift, okay? Workout looks like this. A little bend in the knee, push your chest forward and your hips back. 
so that you will arch your back a little. You will have a natural sway in your back, a natural curve. Exercise looks like this. A little bend in the knee, push your chest forward, and push your hips back. Natural curve in the back, strong. Think strong back. Stretch out your chest like this. And now tilt forward. The more you're tilting forward, the heavier the exercise gets. So, a good movement forward, straight arms, and now drag your arms up, your elbows up, squeeze your shoulder blades at the back, squeeze them together, and then down. If you want to do this even harder, you will, um, you will lift your elbows out to the side, here. That will be even harder. So, if you're a beginner, if you haven't done this a lot, just keep your arms at the side of your body. Here, squeeze your shoulder blades. That's, that's the important part. Last exercise is frog jumps and press up. A, front, a frog jump looks like this. You go down to the floor in the flat position here. Now you're gonna jump your feet forward to, towards your arms. Here, frog jump. Arch your back when you're here. Arch it. Push your hips out like this. And then back into plank position here. That's the frog jump. A press up is a push up but with arms really narrow. The arms are going to be beside your body. You're going to feel it on the side of your body all the way down and up. Like this. So you will use your tricep a lot more than if you have a wider grip. If you're new, just step out. Here, do a little jump here, or step in here, or just skip the frog jump entirely and just do press ups and do them off your knees. Go down to your knees here and do press ups here. Be sure that make sure that your shoulders are over your arms so that you won't be out here trying to do a push-up. Shoulders over your arms like this. Arms narrow all the way down to your chest and up. If you can't get all the way down to your chest, do as best as you can. If you challenge yourself, you're doing it right. So, okay, pyramid. I have my stopwatch ready, I hope you are ready, and let's push as hard as we can, because then we'll have max results from this. I believe in you, if you believe in me, let's go.
this is the longest one. Okay, I've done it. I'm done. Got through it. This workout is amazing. It's really hard, but it's good. And because of the, the pyramid setup, um, it's harder and harder uh, until you get to round three and you really want to give up. But then you can think that next round there are less repetitions and the last round there are only five again and that gets you through that makes you do another one and then that makes you you know stick it out just a little bit more and suddenly you're done with it and only 15 minutes have passed you're drenched in sweat you're absolutely done you have nothing more to give and you're so proud of yourself I promise. And the next day, you will wake up and you will be stronger than you were than you were today. So, do it and come back to a blog. Check out our other workouts. We're putting out new workouts every other day, and they are here. We are here to challenge you, to make you stronger, and to get you fit. But you have to do the work yourself. We're here to challenge you. You're here to work. You're here to work out. So come back, you're absolutely welcome, and I really, really want to know how you do. So please leave a comment if you can, leave your scores. Goodbye.